Hi again, Tom from DMB Tech. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can take a Sony A6400 and by using Sony's My Dial function, essentially turn a camera with one control dial into a camera with two control dials. Let's go. Okay, so here I have my A6400 in view. I'm using my A6000 for the filming. And I'm gonna show you how to set up my dial so that you can use this one control dial in manual mode to control both aperture and shutter speed easily without having to deal with this funky control wheel at all. And basically what we have here is we got the A6400, we're in manual mode, manual mode, and right now it's set at uh, 250th of a second f8, so the scene is quite dark because there's not enough light. To set up my dial, you have to go into the menu and you have to do two things. You have to tell the camera what functions you want the dial to change to and how you want them to change. And then you have to tell the camera how you're going to actuate that function, typically by using a custom button. To set it up, you go to the menu, and you go to tab 2, page 8, where it has all the custom key settings. There's also a setting right here for my dial on a 6400. Okay, and it's also dial and wheel setup. That's also important to understand because you want to know what the, what the default setting for this dial is, and then you're going to toggle from that default setting to something else. So first let's go over and just check the dial and wheel setup. The um, way mine is set up is by default, if there's two functionalities, you'll have the control dial be aperture and the control wheel be shutter speed. If you have it backwards, then you'll have to adjust accordingly. Okay, this is the way mine is set up here. So remember that. Go back with the menu button. So to set up my dial, you just go to my dial settings you select it and you have a whole bunch of things that you can set either the control dial and or the control wheel to have optional functionality. You can have up to three optional functions for each one. That's six functions for those two actuators there. I don't even mess with the control wheel. And to tell you the truth, I only set one thing for the control dial. Since mine defaults to aperture, you saw before, mine will default to aperture. I'm going to set the optional function to be shutter speed. And I'm not, you can set, you can set three of them if you want to. Right now mine is set, set to shutter speed like this, but you can back up and you can set this one to a whole bunch of other things. All these different functions are available to you, right? But I'm not going to set them for anything. So you can set three separate ones for each setting here. But the thing is, what happens there is it becomes very complicated. Then you're cycling through one, two, three optional functions. What I want to do is I want to rapidly switch this dial to be either shutter speed or aperture. And whatever it is, I want to toggle to the other one quickly. You know, I'm okay with using this funky wheel here for ISO because I'm not changing it with every shot, but I want to be able to handle shutter speed and aperture. Now, if you want to, you can set these other functions up. You can set this for anything you want. You can put exposure comp here. You can put aperture here. You can put ISO, right? You can put all those things there and you can cycle through just by putting this, pushing the same button. So this is the functionality. This is where you set the functionality that's optionally available for this dial and for this wheel. Right now, I've got a very simple setting I'm only setting one optional function, and that is shutter speed. Okay, that's half of it. So let's get out of this. The other half is telling the camera how to actuate that optional functionality by going to a custom key. So a custom key for stills is what this, is, this section is for. I select that. Then I got to find the button that I want to set. Well, I want to set the, uh, the custom button that's right next to the shutter button. That way I can not move my index finger very much, hit that button. So I got to go page two, not there. Page three, there it is. That 
button right there, right next to the shutter button. I want to set that thing up, and I want to do a specific thing. I want to toggle the optional setting number one that I have set, the shutter speed. I want to toggle that one. So that means it'll go from its default to this when I hit it once, and then go back to the default when I hit it the second time. If I go into this, you'll see you have a lot of options for that button. And for my dial, you can do all these. You can hold it and get, a, and get it to do something, or you can make it go cycle through all three of the settings, or you can just toggle it. Toggle one, toggle two, toggle three, right, if you want to. So that's kind of cool because you could have it set up a particular way, any way you want. Uh, what I want is a very simple toggle between what it is set to by default and shutter speed. So you get out of that and you'll see what I mean. Okay, back all the way out. And here we are with our scene again, dark scene, can't see anything. And I wanna have a very simple way to adjust aperture and shutter speed. I'm assuming my ISO is set to ISO 100 fixed for illustration purposes. And also a lot of times you wanna shoot, hey, I wanna shoot ISO 100. I wanna see if I can expose the scene beautifully and keep my ISO at 100. Very typical scenario, especially when you're taking portrait shots. Okay, so what I have now is when I turn the dial at first, it will default to aperture like we saw before, according to your wheel and dial uh, default settings that we looked at at first. So I want to open that up. I have a 50 mil 1.8 lens on here right now. So let's open that all the way up. And you can see it exposed the scene, but it's still too dark. Now I want to rapidly change this dial from being aperture, which is what we're doing right now, to shutter speed. And all I do, you can see it in the pictures, I'm just going to touch this button here. Bonk. Now it said right there, you can see that setting right there, that says my dial number one. And it's doing whatever my dial number one is set to. In this case, shutter speed. It's, so, it's telling you what it's going to do right here. And if I turn it, it's shutter speed. There you are. And so I can open that thing up and I can now expose the scene. So if I want to go back and mess with the aperture, I hit it and I'm at aperture. Hit it again and I'm at shutter speed. Hit again, I'm back at aperture. So it, I can rapidly cycle back and forth and it really, really makes it easy to adjust your exposure without really moving much. So I can expose that thing nicely. Now, luckily I'm on a tripod. I can open that thing up like this. I can hit the button. Now, I wouldn't normally do this with this shutter speed, but I can do that and I have an exposure that I got. Now this is the best possible way to take a camera that has only one top control dial and be able to use it as if it has two top control dials by the use of only one custom button up top. That is a great improvement over what was done in the past. So thank you, Sony, for doing my dial. I hope others will find it as useful as I do.